I think this is also very publicly known, so it's fine. You know, Ting Man and his... Oh, yeah, true, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about Ting Man, oh. yeah. Yeah. Olor and Ting Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ting boy. Ting boy. I think that's what, Hey, Ting that's Boy, if you're watching, I love your nickname, bro. Keep it up. I know, it's an Live awesome the nickname. Name. <laughs> What's up, Cubers Live Nation? This is Over Inspected back at you again with another awesome episode. This week, I'm the host for today, Manu, and we've got Chai and Carrie as well as the excellent co hosts. How are you guys doing? Doing good, doing good. <laughs> Excellent. Making got my faces. St- I got my Steve with me, so that where did always, you get? Where did you that get? That always this? makes the mood better. Yeah, where did you get that? Oh, this was <laughs> this. <laughs> this was my Christmas gift to myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I remember I was like buying Christmas gifts on like December twenty third or something, and I was like, I didn't get anything for myself. <laughs> that's so funny. Wait, that's awesome. Wait, actually, uh... I don't know if that. I think, I think that's what, well, okay. Either way, yeah, I, I know this is for kids, but I figure like I can put it in the background of a video and it, it'll make it look like. I no, this is, this is how you appeal to the kids, dude. Just have my Yeah, carries Steve. into video games. It's actually really cute. <laughs> it, it is really cute actually. Yeah, I, I think it's also like pixel perfect. So, so like it matches, you know, with oh, the really? game. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, it looks like cool. it. At, at least with the head, ignoring the body because the body's too small. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, and it's supposed to light up if you add batteries, but like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> You're, it lights up and from Whoa. where? Wait, does it light up like Hero like... Brian? Like where like the light comes out of the eyes? Oh, I, I doubt it. I mean... That would be sick. There's, there's like a, I think there's like a button here you press to make it like do something. Okay, this cool. is so off topic. <laughs> this is absolutely unrelated, but <laughs> no, dude, I, I have to know. Curious, like, I have to Where know. do you even get it? You know? uh, that's very cool. I, I don't even remember. Maybe you it was just, just Target. Yeah, I've, I think I think I've seen these at Target before too. So, I think one of the most satisfying things about Minecraft. So I never played Minecraft, but one of the most really? satisfying sounds. No, yeah, I never oh, played it. Uh, but like, it's just um, don't, don't you have to pay to like play it? Yeah, you do. It, yeah. So I mean, I now Microsoft owns it. it. But like the uh, the most satisfying thing on Minecraft would be like the uh, is, it, is it the um what? when they're building the dirt. or like oh on the sound of them placing yeah placing yeah, dirt yeah. oh the placing dirt is like yeah it's really satisfying like mm. that is true there's a lot of like really uh I don't know really satisfying Minecraft sounds I mean I was gonna mention the the soundtrack. But oh, that's true. Again, the soundtrack is good. Too. I don't want to get too much on a tangent. C one four eight or or four one eight or something. Yeah, C one four eight. C no, C four one eight. Four one eight. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Wait, is that the name of the of the uh, of the music? Yeah, that's the composer. Oh, that's the composer. Really? That's the composer's yeah, and then, name. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's his stage name, but then his songs are like the most famous one is Sweden, uh, but like there's like. Uh, 13 songs the first 10 are very pleasant and like I'm pretty sure if we played them you'd all recognize it but disc 11 and 13 are the spooky ones Ooh. Hmm. I see I see I don't know I've always heard good things about Minecraft I just I feel like it's a game that requires patience like uh, yeah. An- yeah like Animal Crossing uh, or like Clash- yeah what about like Clash of Clans is it like that no, oh, I like this. There's, there's like less time-based elements in Minecraft, so it's like you don't have to like wait for like an hour for something to happen most of the time. Oh, okay. like most so of the time you just need to slow. most of the time you just need to wait until like the next Minecraft day, but you can accelerate that by going to sleep sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and, and you. This is getting into specifics. Like for anything that takes a long time, like uh, wheats or not wheats, crops growing, you can add bone meal and speed it up. So like. It's not a waiting game, it's very much a building game. I think the only thing that's really slow is turtles, from what I know. Like, it's like getting the turtles to like hatch and like they make eggs, I think that is really slow. That's very uh, specific. It's extremely specific. It's like very, very specific. Yeah. But it showed up sometimes in like some random Minecraft things I've been watching. Hmm. Yeah. But what about... I don't know. 
Okay. Were you thinking of like a think of something clever? Yeah, I was thinking of something, trying I... to think of something clever too, but you know what? Forget it. I'm ripping the band-aid <laughs> off. Sorry. Hi, hi, everyone. Back at it again. This is over inspected. If you just skipped all of that, I don't blame you. That was just pure nonsense. Um, today, we're back on the podcast. We're talking about privacy in cubing. I think it's an episode that we've been alluding to in the past, at least. And there's a lot of interesting things that kind of go into this privacy and, and safety as a whole um, in the world of cubing. And it's something that I think is really important to consider. And I think it's important that we that we talk about at some point or another. So when, when we mean privacy, here's what I mean, right? Right now, if you really wanted to, you could go and find all of our information. You know, mine, Chai's, carries. You can find all of that on the on the WCA site. You know, we all have WCA profiles, we all have accounts, and there you can find you can find a lot of interesting things. Obviously, of course, you can see all of our results, which are probably the main thing that most people want to see. But one interesting thing that you can see is I bet you have no idea what my last name is right now. But if you were to go onto my WCA profile page, you can go find my last name. It's there. It's like totally there. It's for everyone to see. In fact, Manu isn't even my real name. If you want to go see my real name, you can you can go on the WCA to find what my what my real full name is. Um, Manu doxes himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. like it's like do- so that's the whole like it's not a crisis yet, but it's just this concern that yeah we are doxing ourselves, but like it's incredibly simple because we have to log in. Some would say sensitive information, like people actually see that I have a I have a secondary like legal Chinese name that I implemented on there because I competed in a Chinese competition before. This is one of those things where even something as simple as your name is just, it's just on public display, which is just super, yeah. I, I don't know. I Sometimes mean, I, I, you I think, think about it, it's uncomfortable. I, I think like, especially the parents for small kids, like don't right. like that. But also like what I felt is that I think for almost anybody who lives in the modern era, you can find their real first and last name if you do enough searching like you go to a government website or maybe some like old school photos it's all there um and i was actually gonna say that like i think wca profiles are like how i found the real name of like certain youtubers like jperm or um like Mm, laser monkey so it's like (laughs) yeah i don't know if that would be considered like stalking i don't think it's stalking i think it's fun. yeah yeah i don't think it's stalking. i mean it's either. the same thing as like facebook stalking i mean like all everyone does it in a, in a way right what yeah right, well, <laughs> right? What also, no, no, yeah yeah i mean I, I think um finding a name is like the the least sensitive information you could find that is true that's like, true that is true yeah that is true um, and and then one good one thing is that like you know like yeah like our names are on there but that that's all of that is um voluntary information you know like in order to have a wc account you need to register for, at a competition with your full name like you can't register for a competition without like with just your account or something and you know when you go to make your wc account you need to like have your full name on there that always gets displayed which is i always thought was interesting because in other um in other like realms and other um hobbies and stuff not sometimes full names aren't always displayed for example, if you go into speedrun.com, right, you are very unlikely to see a full name on there unless that's like there is someone's like handle or their gamer tag or whatever, right? You can choose to go by whatever username you want to go by um, on speedrun.com. So I thought it was interesting that WCA has a system where like we have real legal names on there as opposed to um, as opposed to like having just like aliases as something else. Like if you wanted to be like cutie pie 420 like why why not have that there for someone who wants that there and if you want to have yeah. your real name there just have yeah have them put their real name there but do you guys remember it's actually interesting how the wca you not the wca i don't think the wca intended it for it to be used this way but the wca profile is slowly becoming like a a professional profile like a like a, a resume type profile because what I was starting to think about, it's not like a resume actually, but Carrie, a few episodes ago, you showed us in the, the YouTube version of the podcast, the video version 
um, you showed us like a my WCA profile, and you could see my picture. I, yeah, I remember that. Right. And then, um, I think a lot of high-profile keepers have actual professional photos. So, for example, Timon Kolasinski, yeah, Ma True. Maddie Hiroto Anaba, Max Park, they all have like professional photos, and it looks like an actual. I don't know. Like, it just looks like an actual resume. Almost in a way, it looks like a resume. Like, this is me, right? Yeah. And then, like, your stats are there to prove you're, like, a legit cuber. Yeah, um, it just looks like a freaking, um, you know, ESPN.com? And then you search up, like, yeah. Aron James. Yeah, like, everyone has, like, a profile. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's actually pretty cool. It makes it feel professional. And, and what's crazy, I was going to say. <laughs> no, but, your, yours is you holding a Mega Minx, like, like this. Yeah, I was like. Yeah. <laughs> and you're wearing a like a magenta purplish reddish jacket. Correct. Magenta right. purplish. Yes, right, yes. Right. Indeed. <laughs> and I think no, you're I think you're right on that point accurate. where like it like looks professional. Because some people even have like the badges, right? Like we were talking about this last time too. Like some people have like the delegate badge, right? So even that it makes it look even more professional. Some people have like a little section that says um world records, continental records, national records, championship podiums. So like it does feel very professional in that sense. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. I was also going to say, I think part of the reason why the WCA uses real names might be because it goes back to 2003, which I think was like a time before uh, gamer tags were well known. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that that's, that's probably my, my thought. But it, the thing is, like, it's been 20 years since then, and I'm realizing now that it's been 20 years since the WCA was founded. That's, oh god oh, that's it's been 20 years that's crazy this is the 20 year anniversary or this year well, um, i mean the, the wca championship 2003 was probably in like august or something so we still have to wait wait so like, worlds this year months. is gonna be the 20th anniversary oh, of g wait that's so cool oh, that, that's yeah that is cool i mean i think the people who are there are definitely gonna feel like whoa we've definitely lived through like an like a I guess a human generation of wow, cubers. Wow, huh. That's so crazy. That's so weird to think about. Actually, yeah, I, I mean, I like, we, we started to see parents who were speed cubers have kids that are speed cubers. And, like, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, say too much here. But, for example, like, we, we know people who are adults who are cubers who have kids that are cubing yep. and a public one that I will acknowledge it's because they're public about it, right? The public one that I'll acknowledge is actually Yi Heng Wang, right? His mom oh, was yeah. actually, I think his mom was definitely a speed cuber. It kind of looks like it. And, you know, like regardless of your opinion about the matter, Yi Heng Wang looks like a second gen cuber. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I, I thought you are going to mention, um, I think this is also very publicly known, so it's fine. You know, Ting Man? And his oh, yeah, 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 his yeah. Really, I forgot about Ting oh, Man, yeah. Yeah. Alor and Ting Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ting Boy. Ting Boy. I think that's what, Hey, that's Ting what, Boy, if you're watching, I love your nickname, bro. Keep it up. I know, it's an Live awesome the nickname. Name. <laughs> they, they should have, like, pets, like Ting Cat. Oh, that's that is so funny. <laughs> this is, this is, dude. <laughs> this here is Ting Cat. It's not really, though. Oh, oh my goodness. Cat. Oh my gosh. Like, this oh, here oh, is uh, Ting Other Cat. Ting well, Other Cat. These are not right. owned by Ting. <laughs> this is. Uh, the, these are the over inspected cats. Oh, and these can I mean, be I, over inspected Pokemon. Wooloo, I was Jirachi, going to. Jigglypuff. I was going to say this as a joke, but then I realized I think it's actually real. Um, but then I was like, yeah, we should just call them the Tings. And I'm like, I think that's actually true. But I could be. I actually did not search his real name, so okay. I have no idea what his real name is. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't be surprised if Ting is like their surname. Well, you I'm, can uh, uh, go to the WCA profiles to find out. Exactly. Yeah, I, right? speaking of, we could figure it out if we really wanted to. Yeah, yeah. if we really wanted to, you, you totally could. So, I, I don't know, I think it's interesting that, like, the WC, that that exists on the WCA profiles. And I think it's not unreasonable for them to support um, having gamer tags on there instead. For example, like if you really wanted to not be, like if, so if you really didn't want to be like Michael Chai, you could just put up Chai Tea Latte, and you know you can just go off as being Chai Tea Latte. You know, in that case, it it also does have your name in it, but like you know, like in theory, you could just be anyone. Anyone could just have the name Chai Tea Latte. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Sure, sure. 
Um, I guess like people change their gamer tags every now and then, though. And the thing is, you can change your name on WCA. So, and this happens all the time. If you're a speed oh, yeah. and, and let's say you you get married, right? You you can change your name if you want. Even if you don't get married, you can change your name. Um, but I'm guessing the ID does that change too? I oh, don't ID? know. I feel like it doesn't. I've never I don't experienced know. that. The only person okay, let me I, actually look it up. The the person I can think of is Lauren actually. Like in Lauren. in like uh Kit's Kit's wife. Oh yeah. Because she definitely I mean, she definitely had her he de she definitely needed to change her um I think uh, her WCID is Clem. I think her WCID is Clem. Oh, so, so that means that means that her her ID I also they... changed then. Oh no, no, Probably. her ID is Clem with a K because her maiden name was Clem's. So the ID actually oh, didn't change. Oh, what, what, what are the chances oh, God. of that? <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't think about that. I know. Yeah, so, so it's still Clem, but it's Clem with a K because it was Clem's before. Man, yeah, I petitioned my... that Kit should have taken Lauren's last name. Just like Kit Clems. <laughs> that's a, that's something that they can deal with. But yeah, so you can you can get your name changed on WCA. Um, I remember Chris, one of one of our friends, you know, he used to go by Christian. Now he just decides to go by Chris instead. So like he got a change to, to Chris. I, I I mean that's a bit of a simpler one, I guess. But so yeah, so even yeah. changing yeah. gamer tags would not be too big of a problem. I guess you're the right. issue yeah, is, that is true. if you do go by gamer tags instead, then how do you generate WCIDs? Uh, <laughs> Maybe we force all gamer tags to be at least four characters long, and then, yeah, maybe we just force all all gamer tags to be at least four characters long. Just take the first four characters, and then just do it like normal year, first four characters, and then whichever one you are. I I've mean, only ever played I, I, one I, like game like religiously, and my gamer tag it was World of Warcraft. Yeah, and my wow. name was so cringe lamal <laughs> it was called blood striker <laughs> oh that's such like an edgy so, so... i know it's your so id bad. would be oh wait -L -L Carrie, i can't hear you anymore really yeah oh no oh no well oh no where's Carrie? you can you can still okay, hear well, he's, still, so, like... he's still recording on his side so yeah all right, all right, all right. but we need so to you won't know what i'm you. saying okay um i i, I could can, be like um chad do you smooth. want to leave the call and come back or something yeah, uh, let, let's see if we can like uh, cut. Real yeah, quick. we can we can totally wait, cut. Wait, wait, wait. I think that's, yeah, that's yeah, what we'll do. I'll we'll try cut. to fix let's, this. Let's leave the call and no. come back. Okay, okay, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the recording, oh. Carrie. Keep the recording. Oh, okay, I'll, yeah. I'll keep it. Yes, yes, I'll keep it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Sup, Did it bro? work? Can Yo. you hear now? A B C D E F G. <laughs> wait, no. I still can't hear. You. I still can't hear you. Oh no, balloon okay, what project. About now? No. Okay, what you, if you I try leaving the call leave and, come and then come back? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like he's using the. the yeah, the, I like that. I wait, like now that, I can't yeah. hear you. I, I can't. I yeah, he can't, can't, he can't hear okay. you. Oh what? <laughs> he, oh, he can't hear us. Yeah, he can't hear us either. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's so <laughs> oh, funny. Oh no. <laughs> That's very funny. Literal pain. Uh, is he coming back? Oh, there he is. Hello. What's up, Carrie? Hi. Okay, hey, yeah, we working. can hear you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I I don't know why things are breaking halfway through episodes. I hope that doesn't like make the editing weird. I mean, uh, I'm I sure it'll be fine. fine. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. This yeah. stuff happens. I mean, yeah. If anything, it'll make the episode more entertaining. <laughs> it'll be funny. Exactly. Uh, yeah. uh how do how do we want to? What were we talking about earlier? Game tags. Yeah, we were talking about gamer tags implementing them so that they're the first four characters or something. Mm. And then, Carrie, you, we were, just you were trying to say something, but then yeah, obviously we couldn't. Hear oh you, yeah, so. what were you trying to say? You can just continue. Oh, I was gonna say that your gamer tag would be twenty sixteen B L O O O one. Yeah, twenty sixteen blue O one. <laughs> yeah, blue O one. <laughs> That's actually so <laughs> ugly. I know. I'm I glad mean... you didn't have that one. Oh, yeah. I guess. I guess in that case. I wonder if it would be a problem if you had like weird things in there, you know, like, you know, like you know, you put like some curse word in there instead. Oh yeah, and but maybe, <laughs> but maybe we just we just ban certain gamer tags, like we, you know, we won't, we don't want things that are like derogatory or, you know, potentially offensive. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe are we allowed not. to swear on this podcast? I mean, we are. Yeah, we can do what we want. 
I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not for I, kids. I, I, I'm trying to think of like a, a like a, a, a swear word where it's like the first four letters are bad, but then if you add more letters beyond it, then it becomes fun. Yeah, again. I don't know. Oh, oh I also uh, just she, forgot. Shiitake mushrooms. Oh, shiitake, okay. <laughs> oh, so like, okay, remember when I, the intro that we did, I was, it was Charlie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That, so that's Charlie. just a reminder that we've definitely added in bleeps to this podcast. Oh, that's true. Yeah. When, when, remember when <laughs> oh, that, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 And you were like, you, dude. You, I was like swearing ham. left and right. Yeah. He went off. No, but um, I don't know if you want to add this in as like an edit to make it funny, just like see if no one has any context with what's going on. But I remember when Smosh came out with the video, music video, Fire Truck. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Fire truck. Dude, like, wait, I stub your toe. Fire truck. <laughs> oh, I think I remember that. Drop your plate. Like... Fire truck. Mister, Mister, favorite exam in your girl. Fire truck. <laughs> was this during like the like twenty eleven to twelve? That like, sounds peak right. Smosh era. Yeah, I'm it was for peak, peak Smosh. Peak Smosh. Yeah. Oh Ooh. my god. And and yeah, that was such a golden time for Smosh. God, I remember. So fire truck was an amazing one. Assassin's Creed 3 was so good. Do you guys know that one? The music video? Do you mean, oh, like Tomahawk? Yay! Uh, th that's like my favorite Smosh song ever. It's oh my like, goodness. That was, shoot was actually a mofo good. I throw it with my bow. Yeah. The one I remember is is uh, the Dixon Cider one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that one is a little... Dude. That one is a little... Let's explain it. Because there's an actual city close to Sacramento called Dixon. Um, yeah. They may or may not be known for apple cider. I don't know if that's actually true. I don't think they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not. But, but yeah, so the, the Smosh, city... Smosh made a documentary <laughs> video about it. If if the city of Dixon oh, wow. ever uh, made apple cider, it would be a very unfortunate brand. Um, but also, fun fact, the latte was picked up from Dixon. California. Oh, that's where he's from. Oh, wow. So maybe you know his birthplace. Might, yeah, he might have some Dixon cider, but we, we might have to like curb the table on that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's go back to privacy. I think. I think you should just I bleep think, out the. You, like, to, you don't even want the context. You, no, there. Go, go back to privacy. Maybe you need to keep that conversation private in your head, dude. That did not need to. <laughs> Actually, um, Chai, I think maybe that should be bleeped out because do you know. Actually, should I say? I'll just say it. Um, do you know like the Shane Dawson controversy? Mm. Oh, right. true. Well, you know, like this is what what he would say about his cat. Yeah, very questionable. Oh, right, right. Yeah, true, true. No, but anyways, it, Smosh, good videos, good videos. I they, they were funny. They were they were funny. Yeah. Okay. Really, really funny. Anyway, yeah. after this Anthony. after this massive tangent, we're going back to going back to privacy. So, so yeah, that's one thing that we discussed. You know, your names are, are out there publicly. All right, now, here's the here's the part which I think is kind of suspicious. If you go to any competitor's page, you can click and see which competitions they've been to. And in fact, there's actually an ev even easier way. You can actually scroll down a little bit. Next to the competitions, there's a tab that says map. So if I wanted to, map. I can see where where every single person has competed before and you know that's actually that's yeah. actually kind of cool so we've mentioned before like it's kind of cool you can you get like a little record of like where all the different places you've competed it's really easy to see like if you've competed in like different continents or like different countries that stuff is really cool but what's is a little bit concerning is that you know i can tell with what part of the country you live in just from your results because most cubers don't travel across the country or travel like really far to go to competitions they tend to compete in like small general areas and especially like you know they tend to compete in certain venues over and over again because they happen to be near where they live and that i think is a bit of a problem you know it's not as bad as yeah. like knowing exactly where someone lives but it does give me a general idea that like okay this person like lives in this area and you know and if i see if you can look at like certain behaviors and see oh you know they go to particular competitions in this area oh maybe you know they're like a student at this university that actually is actually kind of a lot of information to get off of just one wca page 
Yeah, I think when when I was, I was thinking about this, right? So the whole um, competition mapping um, concept. Our region specifically, for one reason or another, competitors don't tend to migrate areas. Um, just, I don't even know. Like, this is the type of stuff where I, I know it's not that harmful to say, but it's just interesting to track competitor movement. When you go to places like the Midwest, or like the southeast or like the east coast right even the yeah. south like all those competitors they actually travel the comps so when you look at their competition sheet they're they're actually not in one static area or even anecdotally like you like we know of people who like go like up and down the eastern seaboard you know all right. throughout the yeah. southeast but for yeah. us specifically like i don't know if it's the frequency of competitions of like frequency of large competitions but for one reason or another, our comp our competitor base, including us, by the way, like I don't think we travel that far either. Like we we don't really tend to migrate too far out, but we just yeah. tend to stay in the area. You know, it's just easy to track. Yeah, I, I think it could be because like I think the West Coast is has like a few really big population centers and then like not much in between there you go whereas the east coast is yeah. kind of like just an entire like swath of city after city after city yeah it's a, it's a density issue right because i think that's the difference because like people who are like let's say bay area there could be a competition in reno right but the problem is reno is three hours away and people aren't used to driving that distance to do anything right because everything that you want to do is just in the bay area like unless you want to go skiing or something but that's something that only happens once a year that might be worth driving for a cuban competition is a completely different matter you know another competition might be happening oh where is it happening it's happening in la okay well that that's like a lot harder to get to right so it's like a full day drive yeah unless you want to get a flight but like well it that's... helps that we have a lot of competitions in terms of like frequency or i wouldn't say what we have the most i don't we definitely by far don't have the most but we have enough competitions to keep people feeling like I don't need to go somewhere else, you know? Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, well, I think like tying this back to privacy and like whether or not it's like dangerous to know kind of the general vicinity of where people live. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I haven't heard of any stories of people looking up a WCA profile and then like using that information, but you know, it is out there. It and is the good out thing there. Is, yeah. yeah. It's like, I think you, like, you wouldn't be able to pinpoint it any closer to then maybe like a 20 mile, maybe 10 mile radius because like, you know, people are just willing to travel. There's a certain distance that people right. are willing to travel yeah. for a competition. Yeah. And that adds enough like blurriness to the data that right. like, you, you can't find their exact house. Right. I mean, so... I, I, so I think that's that's one thing is like looking for someone's house. I think a different thing is let's say like, I think the biggest thing is actually if you're a Cuber in college, right? Like let's say, let's oh, say yeah. for example, you go to UC Berkeley, right? And Berkeley has competitions like relatively frequently, right? But if the but if you're on your profile and I see that your only activity is at Berkeley, then that seems it seems very likely to me that you might be a Berkeley student. Which then you know like knowing that someone is a Berkeley student, I think is is more information than because you could avoid all of that in theory like you no one has to know that you're a student at berkeley right but knowing that you're a berkeley student i feel like is a lot of information to be able to gain just from looking at like wca results i i yeah. don't know if i'm tripping oh so tell me if i'm wrong maybe we've talked about it on this podcast before maybe we haven't but the, the whole reason why this is a topic of discussion and why it's even important is not because like this information is it's not like this information we understand the purpose of it and we understand like why it oh yes yeah, yeah or like it's, it's cool but the only reason we talk about it is it's kind of like a warning of like what could potentially happen because this information is super public and easy just unfortunately because well we've reached our 20th year anniversary i guess in the wca the cubing community is super super small and young like not just the cubers themselves but the actual community is young it's still growing as you grow larger and larger and more exponentially larger you get people that may or may not have bad intent yeah 
it's just one of those things where like if this information is like in the wrong person's hands i guess that's where it could get potentially like oh i, I don't know if i want that information out there you know but i don't remember if we actually talked about this before but yeah did you I, did you want to sort of elaborate on like what kind of happened with like other communities as well Manu? yeah so i'm not gonna go into too much detail because it's pretty bad but um, it's gruesome yeah it's it's really bad but like yeah there's a wherever like you know there's a community of of people um especially you know in, in our case in the cuban community there's, there's a lot of miners right so whenever there's a lot of miners involved in communities there's always the potential for something something bad to happen and so f in order to protect the miners i think it's our obligation to at least think through bad things that can happen and try and mitigate them as much as possible right i would much rather spend way too much time trying to think about and trying to patch up all the holes that we might have in our system to prevent you know some something bad from happening then do all that work after that bad thing has happened so that, that's why i think it's important to at least mention you know obviously like you know we, we're it makes sense you know to list like the competitions that you've been to that, that like it's it makes sense to do that um and you know it makes sense to like you know have your full name on there you know it's that's a pretty reasonable thing but you know there is like i think that there is there is some possibility that someone could misuse that and if we can do things to avoid that you know add a gamer tag or you know give an option to uh hide location something like that that might be just as fine i feel like something as i don't know if it's simple coding by the way but i feel like the competition page okay when it's live sure i guess maybe you need the exact precise location but what if you had a situation where after competition's over and it's an archived site it's like a past competition you only have the city available like maybe. publicly viewable as the uh, like say for example bay area speed cubing 40. let's say bay area speed cubing 40 it just says san ramon it doesn't say the venue location maybe yeah i don't know and then that way you can have like yeah you can have like a public like competition map but only to the city mm, rather than like specific locations i feel like city is still pretty specific but i mean it would it would do a little bit of obfuscation i think i think what would be even yeah. better is like have an option which is like show past locations or something like that or like you know or hide past locations i guess i kind of feel like we should True. probably show them by default actually that's a good idea because like i think you can choose to have a public or not based off of who you are right so like maybe like the default setting for someone that's like under age or like under a specific tos right right you have it default turned off and then you can select it to be on or if you're past that tos that theoretically would exist then you would have it default available, but you could always toggle it. I feel like that would prove valuable for certain people because some people like the competition mapping. I like them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. I love it, but. Yeah, I, I like them too. I think as adults, like we have the, I don't know, the ability to, I guess, allow that to happen. Um, I, I think that like, yeah, ha having a, an option to toggle it on or off would be really good. But I think like, if someone wanted really hard to find the locations of competitions, they could because it's like yeah, like you can't hide the location of the competition for every person who went there because out of a hundred people, someone's gonna say like they want to know, or like they're okay with people knowing where it was. It sort of feels like yeah. yeah, like too many people's like cubing histories are like intertwined um, to fully obfuscate it. I think that's true. I think that's true. That's a good point. Um, I, I, and I also feel like if there was someone that had like bad intentions within the keeping community, I wonder if it'd even be easier to address than someone that just came from wherever the heck they came from. Like maybe not a cuber at all, just to like look up this information, right? Um, but I don't know. It's just one of those things where it kind of gets my brain churning for like what are the options to for preventative measures. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. But and the yeah. lesson here is like sometimes like the only way to like stop a bad person is to be a good person, right? Like they're going to like do what they want to do, but you have to like just right. like, kind of Yeah, it's like however many roadblocks we can put in there and like whatever friction we can introduce, maybe that's one extra step that prevents them from doing something wacky or something, you know. Um yeah, the wacky and, stuff. And one good thing I will say is that if you you actually can't see date of births 
which I think is, is which I think is pretty good. Yeah, you can't see date of births. You oh, can't yeah. even you can't even see year of births if you're just a random person scrolling around in WC. The only way you can do that is if you can you can see that as an organizer, and only as an organizer. And in order to get to an organizer, obviously you can't just be like a random person. There's an extra vetting that happens to get to that point anyway. So I was thinking about so I was thinking about why an organizer actually needed that information anyway. That's a good point because as a uh, as a delegate you can see that information because you can go into their profiles and mm. alter it technically speaking um but i was wondering why an organizer needed to see that but then i realized there are probably venues that have restrictions yes that's waivers. i think i'm pretty sure that's what it is yeah so i feel like it as an organizer unfortunately that's going to be information that you definitely actually need to know yeah yeah usually but you don't need to know but you could yeah you might you might need to yeah. know that information so it makes sense for wca to be able to to have that information ready to show the organizers the one thing is that i i, I still think that like having the organizer be visible to the organizer that requires that like the organizer well think about it right the organizer has to get in contact with the delegate the delegate has to like approve like basically have some opening for the competition to actually happen there has to be like a venue there has to be a lot of things that happen before the organizer can actually get access to that stuff so i feel like in any of those steps like the you know the delegate and slash that's a lot of friction to go through in order to in order to just get someone's date of birth like you can probably do that if you just know their real name you can probably find it on some sketch site or something so true true um yeah yeah i i think it is about the friction it's like anyone who is like willing to fight for information and like sleuth through like government documents they can find it um I, like i don't think the cubing cubing sites are going to be like what causes really bad things to happen yeah i, I hope not um yeah. yeah i i think it that that's like the curse of it's not like cubing but that's just the as much benefit as the internet has provided <laughs> this is yeah. one of the drawbacks of it like the 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 fact that so many things could just be made public at a whim mm -hmm. you know yeah every time there's like a big leak of some like some website with 200 million users and all the passwords come out i just keep oh, thinking yeah. like wouldn't this be really terrible for those like hundreds of millions of people but then like the world keeps spinning and then like a few months later another big leak happens and it it just feels like, uh, I don't know. You would expect people like, like this would be really terrifying for those people. But like, you know, maybe my information has been leaked and I just didn't know. And that's just how the internet is. It's like not preventing all risks, but trying to like mitigate them as good as possible. Yeah, that's really the best way we can do. On a sidebar, um, not really a sidebar, but when we were talking about date of birth, it got me thinking man i'm older than everyone <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh because you can because you can card people so like whenever you go to like a place that serves alcoholic beverages like the the joke now is that if your date of birth starts with right. a one you're right <laughs> yeah. oh yeah i mean it, that's even been the case for two years now because i went to like a liquor store <laughs> like a few weeks ago <laughs> and i said like if your birthday is past february 2002 you're fine and oh I have like memories God. from February two thousand two. Me too. So, <laughs> February two thousand two. Well, yeah, Chai. I know you and I are like almost exactly the same age. So like oh everything I relate to, you probably relate yeah. to also. It's so messed up. I'm like, damn, these guys are born when? <laughs> yeah, like, dude, what? it's crazy. Well, I I mean, what's what's like even crazier is like in the U S. The drinking age is twenty one, which is like really high, and then like oh, maybe yeah. Germany mm -hmm. is like sixteen. So like. For Germany, it might say 2007. I don't know if that's true, though. Like, I, I don't know international right, yeah. laws. Yeah, yeah it, it is yeah. It is very strange. Because, like, it, it's, it's also very weird when, like, when, like, you go and compete with people who are, like, born after a certain time. So it's weird when, like, when I, whenever I, I, like, first saw someone who was competing after, and they were born after 2010, I was like, what is, what is happening? Because at this point, if you were born in 2010, you're like 12 years old now. So like you're perfect age for yeah. a speed cuber. And I remember when I saw that first for the very first time when I was organizing a comp, I was like, this is not right. Something is wrong here. 
Something is wrong. But like, think about this. So like, I had an analogy. Something is wrong. Yeah, something yeah. is wrong because when I had this comparison, I was talking to someone who they're they're like 18, 19 years old, right? And in my head, <laughs> these guys were not born before LeBron James was drafted to the NBA. Oh my goodness. Holy uh, heck. Wow, and LeBron's I was like, so career I'm is a, longer than that. I'm a huge, yeah, I'm a huge basketball buff. But when you say 2010, my kid, that means these people, when they were born, you could think like, oh, they didn't see Steph Curry get drafted. Right. Steph Curry got drafted before they were born. Right. You could say Blake Griffin got drafted before they were born. And they're like, what? These guys are still in the league. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, they're still out there competing. So, yeah. Oh, it, God. It's wild. It's wild. Well, maybe it's good that athletes can have, like, long enough careers to fully cover someone's lifespan. But, like, if, if we were talking about, like, gymnasts, you know, er, <laughs> gymnasts would re be retired by the time a speed cuber would be old enough to compete, I feel like. Yeah, I think I feel like that is true, yeah. I would say, though, if I had a kid, I think I would want my kid to be a speed cuber. I think I would cool. just like him. Yeah, I think I would just want him to have a cube and know how to solve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think with those hobbies, like, you can't force them into it, but you can introduce yeah. it and make it, like, yeah. easier for them to, like, fall into it. Yeah, they're totally. not going to... They're not going to grasp onto it if you force it on them, I think. True, At true. the end of the day. Yeah. Well, who knows? That's a parental skill. I'm not there yet, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> not, not for a human, Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I, I think um, it's so hard to, like, figure out what makes a little kid want to do something or not. Because there's a picture of me when I was four with... Actually, I don't think it's there anymore, but, like, my first Rubik's Cube. And I was, like, solving it in China or something. And I could only get, like, seven colors on one side and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just like put it away because I was frustrated and I didn't touch it for 12 years right yeah so like like as a kid that wasn't like just putting it in front of me wasn't enough to get me invested um yeah I mean so it, it worked in the end though so yeah it worked your yeah. parents master plan <laughs> yeah <GJs. laughs> well anyway I think so last thing I want to cover on this, this privacy topic is actually a little bit about safety um, also relating to to minors, because we have we have loads of minors at competitions, and you know for the most part you know they all have a great time. They hang out with their friends. It's all good, um, but you know there 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 is an opportunity for potentially something to go wrong. And actually, Chai, you talked about this in a different podcast episode about I think a kid got injured, like he twisted his ankle or something. Oh. Oh yeah, like there was a kid that happened at a competition that I was delegating and organizing and a kid, like, he stepped off the ledge wrong and he, he slipped and f he slipped and then he fell over and he sprained his ankle pretty much. And his parents took him to the to, um, urgent care um, because they wanted to make sure that it was nothing more than a sprain obviously mm -hmm. but obviously the kid was in pain and the kid was like no no it's okay it's okay but then i was like in the back of my mind like am i responsible for this like in a way like it was just kind of like one of those things that was yeah. happening where yeah, i don't you... know what i'm responsible for in a right way. because competitions are yeah. generally big enough to the point where you can't keep track of everyone at any given time so it's important to like so in theory if something were to happen there are things that could happen that maybe you, you would never know about yeah pretty much it's yeah just, i guess that part it's uh pretty difficult to monitor yeah yeah i feel like when uh like when, when i was in elementary school you know we always had to sign permission slips which i never read but i feel <laughs> like yeah, that's sort of covering the school's like all their bases for what, if anything happens to the kids mm -hmm. but for like competitions in the wca they're just kind of more lax about that like like people just sort of show up and have fun so it's like I guess there isn't really a thought about how to legally cover any edge case that could happen. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you oh. know, legally is one thing, but, you know, the most important thing is to make sure that everyone is everyone is safe and having a good time, right? So, yeah, I it, wonder... I mean, before we talked about things about, like, how maybe it makes sense for people under a certain age to bring, like, a parent or trusted guardian with them, have them, like, you know, be mod monitor them all the time. That's something that could be done. Chai, you said you were going to mention something? I just realized that's why we sign permission slips for field trips. 
It took me a lot of years to figure that out. I just realized that's I why mean, we that's why we don't forge our parents' signatures. Dude. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that's like it's part of it, but like, isn't part of it also like just to, to know that the parents are like cool with the kid going to? Yeah, like they're aware, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's like the parent is isn't like I didn't let. My kid go to the zoo. I, that's against my religion. So right. Well, I guess like you? the reason why I didn't think about it was because like any parent would be like, of course my kid can go to the zoo. So it was just like, I get. I never privilege, dude. I don't know why I thought that the permission slip was like a formality or something, or like it wasn't a safety thing, or like it wasn't a like can this kid go here. I was just like, oh, we have to do it because it's like homework or something. <laughs> it just took me the easiest something something ever. Twenty something years to figure out that there was an dude, actual dude. actual things to what? have permission for. Dude, that's oh, what? God. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Better, better late than never. Oh god. SMH. Yeah, I guess better better late than never, I suppose, you know? Well, I, th I think it's fun to think of it like a homework assignment. Like, <laughs> yeah, the task is just get a signature on a line. Like the mom asks the kid, "Hey, do you need help on your homework, kiddo?" Actually, yes. <laughs> and and you are my homework. Yeah, yeah. your name is all I need. <laughs> so you should help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. Um, yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway, one other thing I wanted to mention is uh, i i think you guys are probably gonna have thoughts on this too so yeah we talked about like what what would happen in like physical competitions but the other thing is now with like the speed cubing becoming more and more popular on the internet i feel like there, there's lots of internet spaces where speed cubing happens now too you know there's youtube there's twitch discord there's, there's a lot of other places so and, you know that, that's also places where i feel like you know the moderators or whatever need to do a good job of making sure that like you know that everyone is like there for for a good time and you know no, no, nothing too wild happens Here oh for yeah a good time not a long time <laughs> no well, a long time for us because we've all been cubing for a while. long like, and seven, good time eight, let's let's all have a let's all have a long good let's all have a good time for a long time how about that oh yeah good time right, for right, a long that's time fair, that's fair <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i guess like the, the quick communication of a discord server is i honestly feel like Discord is like the best when it comes to like yeah conversations between like many many parties at once. Um, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Are you a part of the Discord server that we posted for West Coast QB? Carrie? Me? Yeah. I don't think join? so. I, no, no. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't really use Discord for like fun stuff anymore. No. <laughs> No, no, no. It's not for only. fun stuff. We just wanted to. We just wanted to like have a more tight knit way to engage the community. And oh, I'm. I guess I since we're join. talking about Discord, yeah. Since we're talking about Discord, we did create one for WCC, all the cubers on the West Coast. <laughs> Link yeah, is so down there the in the description, cubing. guys. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I I might have joined, but I have like two Discord accounts. So I have to remember like which one I joined on. Oh yeah, but if you put it in the link in the description, I'll I'll join through that as well. I, if I haven't already, but that yeah, will be yeah. like a few weeks from now. Yeah, I think that was pretty fun. However, man, people will be posting six two five like no one's business. Okay, look, six two. <laughs> look, honestly, that's fine. You know, like I'm, all things moderators can clean up. Spamming six two five is like the best thing I want to clean up, right? Like I don't want to, I don't want to deal with anything crazier than that, right? So should, should we talk? Should we have an episode dedicated to six two five worship? We might have the six two five man himself show up at some point. So oh, the, the yeah, episode but... should be six minutes and twenty five seconds. <laughs> six hours and twenty five Let... minutes only. Oh, that's a long <laughs> episode. That's like, is that or... that's longer than all the episodes puts? No, it's not. No, no, no. What if so it was long. six? What if it was six seconds and twenty five milliseconds long? Well, that'd be 6.025, so it has to be 6 Wait, seconds that... and 250 milliseconds. Well, that, that's how long Mitch's solve was. Well, that... Yeah, yeah, 6 <laughs> seconds and 250... 6 seconds and then 250 milliseconds. Well, no, the, the, like, so, so, like, the decision is whether to make it one <gasps> time the length of Mitch's solve, 60 times the length of Mitch's solve, or 3,600 times <laughs> the length of Mitch's solve. <laughs> mm. That is I'm awesome. thinking Shout 60 times. Mitch. Oh, I know, I know. We could... Wait, I have a genius idea. We can just make it... Wait... We can make it 625 minutes. minutes. 
Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, ten sorry, hours. That, that's it's ten hours. Uh, we could make it six. Uh, I, thought, I thought you meant six to twenty-five. We could make it sixty-two point five minutes. One hour and two point five minutes. Oh my goodness. What if we posted this? Ep- like, what if we posted that episode at six twenty-five p.m. Ooh, on what time zones? On six two five. On on six two five. Oh That's a good idea. Dude, <laughs> that that'll be like near the end of the season, right? Because that. Would it's be actually good. the very. It's actually the, so the last episode of the season should come out on six twenty four if we don't skip oh, skip yeah. a week. So perfect should, timing. Should we have an episode of? explaining memes cubing memes wait that's a genius idea oh <laughs> if you want that well, episode let dude, us know comment you know. if you guys want to see that episode just imagine well, like we talk about cubing memes woj <laughs> well, yeah i, I mean i, I never I, want to hear woj as again. as like uh cringe it, as it may be i always find that like when youtubers do videos of like explaining memes <laughs> they always do really well like, <laughs> like Doctor Mike. I don't know if you know Doctor. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, I know Doctor Mike. I do yeah. know Doctor Mike. Doctor Mike is yeah. cool, man. He's cool. Like a lot of his cool. videos are just like reacting to, like medical bad medicine. Memes yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like ten million views, and I'm like, I guess memes really are popular. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe so that's one reason. Edge, six to five. Nebraska. Uh, World's 2017 is in Paris. Ne- Nebraska. Um, yes, yes. Oh yeah, Nebraska. Antonio Cam in the polls. Oh my god, Antonio <laughs> Cam. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, we should no no no. It should not be episodes related to explaining memes. We should just have only guest episodes about memes. Oh my goodness. So we should get Mitch to Anto. Antonio Cam. Uh whoever the heck started Woj. <laughs> it was, it was da- okay, it, David Jang. Oh. I, I have no it? idea. <laughs> Maybe I have okay. no <laughs> Uh, someone named David said that it was him, um, and David was also someone who was like really into Loopover when I released it, so I could like reach out to him oh, and see if okay. I- ask him about it. That'd Man, be interesting. There's so many Davids in this world. That, that is yeah. true. There are lots of Davids. <laughs> Number one baby name in the 1960s, so like... Yeah. Really? Oh, that's why. Uh, well, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go off on tangents, but like... Baby name popularity used to be like a oh wait, you literally researched it. you researched this for Abacab I think right oh yeah yeah I, I, I like I was assuming you wouldn't know about that because that's like one of my dude like lesser dude I know I know about projects. all of Carrie's the Carrie lore okay I know I know oh my about, god the lore I watched so many of the <laughs> well, Abacab the cube roll videos because I like the data visualization stuff so I, I was gonna see if I had the the baby bubble poster oh I do let me get let me get it okay I know this episode's going long so this will be like the end yeah but I, I think go I get it go get it right go get here it, yeah. go yeah go okay. get it oh man I'm trying to think of like mom I got a TV oh that's a good one too <laughs> wait but that that that's the same <laughs> sitting here same with my five, SD card ran out old. actually no this poster is like eight years old now the like, SD card ran out my... wait Carrie 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 we just remembered an amazing meme my SD card ran out do you remember that meme. Oh yeah, because like well, a kid um, shouted it during like a world record. <laughs> Felix's world record. Well, Which same is... world record as as like the, the the gray sweatpants, right? Yeah. Oh, was it the same? That, that, that world record has, a, has like so many like like memorable moments. Dude, that's a legend. <laughs> it's a legendary world record. Yeah, and the kid was like, just as my SC card runs out. Oh I forgot my about that. god. <laughs> I'm sure there's like many more like 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 we've forgotten, but then if we just say it again, it's dude, like, we oh, yeah. we should do some research and actually, I I would love to do I would love to do cubing memes explained. I I think cubing memes explained is a perfect. That's video. so good, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Wait, what's the poster carry? Oh, it's just uh the most popular baby names from the year I was born in America. Michael, you're not gonna. Well, maybe you like this what? because. I did this like what? I'm first. <laughs> yeah, so like you attributed we have to this the number one name. No. This is, this is from my birth year, which is 1997. Um, ah. Matthew. So it goes Michael, Jacob, Matthew. I think Christopher is next. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, Christopher. Christopher. Yeah. Sixth. No, it's fourth. fourth. I can't yeah. read. Wait. Yeah. Let's play a game. The top ten names, the first WCA, the first keyboard that comes to your head. Okay, so, Michael. 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 Uh, Michael Larson. I wonder who. Yeah, oh, I wonder whoops. who. All right, number two. Number two. What was number two? Jacob. 
Jacob, Jacob Ambrose. Rose. Jacob Ambrose. Okay, number three. Okay, number three. Matthew. Dickman. Dickman. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that seems four. kind of obvious. Okay. Christopher. Olsen. Clement. Oh. No, Clement. Oh, no, Clement. those are good. Those are good. Okay. Wait, Clement is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is, Kit, is Kit a Christopher? No. I think so. I don't think he's a Christopher. Okay, he... this one's going to be harder. Number five is Joshua. Farron. Farron. Yeah, Josh Oh, Farron. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> How can I forget? I... See, I think it's good that you can, like... This is so good. <laughs> I love this. Can we do top okay. ten? Number... Yeah, no, uh, yeah, I'm trying to find number six. Nicholas. Uh... Nicholas, yeah, it is Nicholas, but I can't. Oh yeah, Nicholas is right here. Sanchez Harper. Oh right, uh, he has yeah like Nicholas a Harper, Nicholas single. Sanchez. Yeah, Nicholas yeah, yeah, yeah. Harper. Yeah, yeah. There's two of them, or I mean, there's probably more than two. I mean, yeah. Okay, number seven. I'm. Just, I, it's hard when I'm looking at it the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you can just look at it. If you, you can just tell us. Yeah, I'll, I'll. Yeah, I'll look at it and then turn around. Okay, I'll just tell you. Yeah. See, I found every like all the ones after seventh, but I can't find seventh. Ooh. Brandon. Harnish. Harnish. Uh, Harnish. Harnish. <laughs> and Lynn. How can I forget Lynn? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, Bra Lynn. yeah, 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 yeah. What's number Lynn? eight? Oh, okay, number Andrew. eight is Austin. No, eight, oh, eight, eight is it Andrew. Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Andrew Sad Nichol that I'm wait, Andrew wait. Tate. An Andrew Nicholson? <laughs> no, wait. that's Nathan. No, that's Nathanson. 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 Andrew Nathanson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And number, what I was number nine? Uh, okay, number nine is... Austin, right? No, Austin's number ten. Austin, oh no, Austin is nine. Austin who's is nine. Austin? Yeah, who's Do we have an Austin? Do we have an Austin? Austin. Oh, well, no. when I think when I hear the name Austin, I think of like like a skateboarder kind of guy. Austin? We can't end this episode Austin. until you come up with an Austin. Austin was this popular of a name? Yeah, well, this was like the peak year for Austin as a name. It was like uh. definitely a trendy name because it like. Exploded in the 90s and fell off in the 2000s. Okay. Any Austin, Austin Cubers are offended right now that we don't remember them. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Austin. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Austin. I oh, I, oh, wait, wait, I knew an, wait, wait. I knew an Austin Chen. I think there's an Austin Chen. Austin oh, Austin Chen. Chen. Yes. I he's think, an, oh, wait. Austin he's Chen. a very, very familiar. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, I think I, you're going to have someone in mind for number 10, I think. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh shoot, I'm trying to unpearl it. It's so hard. <laughs> Tyler. Howlett. Howlett. Yeah, Tyler Howlett. <laughs> Tyler Howlett. I was like, that, that's it. that feels like an easy one to me. God. Isn't um Tyler also the FTO guy? Tyler, Tyler Hicks. Hicks. Tyler Hicks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hicks. yeah. Tyler Hicks. Man, yeah, that, so was, that was actually hell. That was actually really entertaining. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you know what would um, be like 10 times harder? Girl oh, yeah. names. Oh, that'd be that'd be way harder. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. Down? Can we, let's try to do top three. Let's do top, top three. three. Okay. okay. Let's just do okay. top three. Okay, I gotta be careful with these because these were like the first prints of them, and I just realized this one has a tear in it. So. I, I, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> so let me go real gentle and slow. Oh man, this is actually gonna be impossible. <laughs> okay, number one is Emily. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think this is our fault. This is like the Cuban community's fault. Emily? We need more Emily's Emily. in the Cuban community. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just going to say Emily Chen. I mean, I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> There's going to be an Emily Chen out there. There's got to be an Emily Chen out there. I don't, to be. I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. I Number actually two. give up, yeah. Number two is Jessica. Friedrich! Oh. Jessica Friedrich! Oh, Frederick! Jessica Friedrich, yes! Let's go. Oh, that's right, that's right. Friedrich, Jessica creator Friedrich, of the method. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I, I really like that, because, like, Jessica Friedrich often, like, doesn't get talked about enough, but she literally invented the method everyone uses. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Last one, he, Ashley? Here's number three, Ashley. Oh, no. All right, this is this is not going well. <laughs> this is this is not going well. <laughs> I, I think it's hard, because, like, also... If you notice, like the girl names are generally more diverse, so the bubbles are yeah, smaller. Yeah, it does look like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you won't get as many like cubers in one bubble. Dang. Ashley. I don't know a single Ashley. Like, if I do, I'm sorry I offended you, especially if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ashley. I don't know any cuber Ashleys. I don't know any well, cuber Ashleys. Okay, so we missed out on Austin, Ashley, and Emily. No, we got we got Austin. Uh, we got Austin. We got. Austin. Oh, we did we get Austin. Austin, Austin, Austin Chen. Chen. Yeah. yeah. Austin okay, Chen. so it's only. 
It was only the girls' names Emily and Ashley we that failed. we couldn't get. Yeah. I feel I'm searching on WCA right now. <laughs> okay, Emily. Dude, this episode has turned full circle. <laughs> Dude, it's fine. I think I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take this part. And I'm gonna make it a separate video. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's like so different. It could be a separate. Yeah, video. I'm gonna make it a separate video. Um. <laughs> oh, uh, Emily Eggins, Charlie Eggins' mom, and Charlie Eggins is like a top line solver. Oh, huh. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're. I, yeah, we need more girl keepers. I mean, I, I guess this is what it's telling us. That is true. We but do. very interesting, very interesting exercise. That was, that was yeah, fun. I mean, I, I think, yeah, this was a blast from the past. And it's like, these are, I spent a lot of time on these posters, so I should. I suggest I, we keep this in because it was, it was related, but like, you know, obviously the way that podcasts work is maybe not ideal, but I suggest we keep it in. Hey, do they, they go off the rails all the time, yeah. so. Yeah, this is very entertaining. We can like, do this, both. I, yeah. I would, I would argue this is the most replayed section of our. Of, of, I, it of could our be. Pod. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We, yeah, we already did the top ten, but it sort of feels like everywhere I look, I'm seeing cubers like Elijah, like yeah. suddenly, like Dude, Elijah Eric, Brown, Eric Jow, Dylan yeah. Austin, what? Christian Dylan Martin, Miller, James McDiarmid. Dude, there Thomas the Choo Choo Train. I mean, uh, oh Isaac Langer. On. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Carrie? Yeah. Oh, Carrie is uh, ranked 1,366. So, uh, <laughs> it's how, not, not how bad. Can I do this a little like. Let's see if I can find it. 1,300 and. Oh, I found it. But I think it's too small for the laptop to get it. Let's see if this. Uh, how do I do this? See, if I had the webcam, I could just point it down, but I can't do that right now. Oh, it's okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, okay, so let, I think I can show you where Chance is, and you have to look above Chance. Okay. Uh, okay. Chance. This is... So... Do you see Chance? Yes, I see Chance. Okay, there's a really small bubble above it. Like, immediately above it? Immediately, like, touching it above it. Okay, yeah, I, 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 that's I like, see it, yeah. You won't be able to see that it says carry, but it is... Huh. I don't see Wait, it, but I trust you. You don't it's see okay. chance. Chance is like actually like in the center of the screen. Like okay, there's oh okay, I do uh, see it. Oh, do Carrie, see I do see Carrie. Yeah, 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 I see it. I see. Do it. you? Yeah. Well, I, see I don't it. know if you do. No, I don't know. Like, I do. I do. It's, it's like the size of one letter of Chance. I yeah. see. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. entire yeah, yeah. bubble. Or oh, there's some like flare. Let me bring it closer. Oh my god, that is so tiny. Yeah, it's. it's I know. Very I think small. it's like oh my eighty. Goodness. There's like 80 babies in the Wait, entire country. Ain't no way Chad is only 174th. That's not real. Dude, that this was in the this was in 97, dude. But like they're all Chads. Chad. But Chad was like, like a big big name in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, um, but like imagine hmm. this imagine someone named Chad Ryder. That just sounds like someone that's like that sounds cool, you know, common. Common. Then again, I have the most common name since 1997. So, which, you know, <laughs> that's true. Like you have a bias. Like to you, Dude, like, I contributed to this day. You, you contributed to this. <laughs> you did, like, you're literally on here. Like, like this bubble would be smaller if it weren't for you. It's like specifically me. Like this exercise. If yeah. you added the actual year for the person we talked about, like if we talked about Dickman and the year, I they would actually be number added, one. Because <laughs> like in the data set, it's like down to the exact. God. Uh, dang number like it's not rounded at all oh and then oh i guess manu God. not to leave you out well i wouldn't I, I wouldn't be on this because i was not born in the united states oh you're right yeah wait, okay, wait, so wait, you're not on here there's, is there manu on here no there's no way well no oh but oh, nice. I, I was just gonna like well okay i don't know manu if i want like maybe you don't want me to reveal like your actual no name. you can go for it like Ooh. i said it's public information okay you would be here like somewhere in yeah, here somewhere in, like, in the, there the, yeah yeah, um, near the near the top right corner. The you're, you're actually the corner, actually, right? Oh yeah. Well, they're not like sorted any more finely than just the first letter. Oh, I see. So, like, okay. All the A names are sort of like scrambled. Oh, okay. Yeah, somewhere over there then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a very long tangent. So. <laughs> it, I loved it. So this is like a mini yeah. game. It I was a like mini game. No. That's where the tear the was. Tear. So I have to tape that up. Oh no, Zachary White. 
<laughs> oh yeah, is that the one who who said he looked. Oh, wait, he's he's the one who looks like PewDiePie. PewDiePie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Zachary White. Oh. Zachary White. <laughs> Fridays with Zachary White. Dude, man, so stupid. Good guy. <laughs> okay, I'm cutting this podcast yeah. off. I'm ending this episode. We gotta go record another one. So. All right. So hold on, chat. Oh yeah. We we got. We, you know, every, everyone, everyone listening to the podcast, we've been trying to do a better job of uh, ending the podcast promptly. <laughs> oh, that did not happen this time. <laughs> oh. Season two. Okay, three, two, failed. one, over. Bye. Okay. I think yeah, we bo- failed. Bo- yeah, we failed. <laughs> we okay, failed episode so, over. We failed so badly.